How's it going? This is Jay. I'm here to take you on a culinary adventure, a journey, a stroll through memory lane. So come along as we work our way through my resume. This is Jay Works. We're back, people. It's been great. You know, following along what I'm doing, my resume of life. Today is a special one. In the state of New Mexico, I worked for the sorority Zeta Tau Alpha. It was awesome. I worked there for almost maybe like two and a half years. So it was like my first introduction of actually running a kitchen. You know what I mean? They gave me a budget, I went shopping, I put out weekly menus, and you know, it was it was cool, and I felt like the girls appreciated that, which that's all they wanted. Just some good food so you can get some of that brain food and go back to class. They were beautiful, smart, intelligent women, and they made that whole experience so much better. What I used to do is they'd have meetings every Monday, and I'd give them a, like, the girls printed out the sheet and it would be like suggestions. And like I said, you gotta learn your clientele. I learned that at a young age. You gotta give the people what they want. And today, I'm gonna make <laughs> some mac and cheese. And oddly enough, a Thanksgiving sandwich. <laughs> so, how about we get started? Why not? The girls wanted it. I want it. Hopefully my girl wants it. Let's do this. I picked a beer that, you mean, unnecessarily, I mean, I wasn't of age to be drinking, so I didn't do that. You know, I don't do that. It's a high life, you know, what am I gonna do? It's beer. It was a good one. Champagne It's champagne. And I'm gonna drink it out the bottle like I used to back in the day. Cheers there, toots. So, what we're going to start with is the good old stuffing. Super simple, because it's the one that's out of the box. You know, I hate to say it, but that's what I did. When, you know, when you're feeding about, you know, 30 to 100 girls on some days. I got here, which I've already heated up, some butter and chicken stock. Look at that. First step, done. I don't know why people stress about Thanksgiving. Cranberry. You know I mean, I'm not gonna make a lot, because you I mean, oh my god, everyone loves cranberry sauce, but it's always there after a long Thanksgiving dinner. This is actually cran grape juice. Oh, ooh wee. Cran grape juice? Cause, you I mean, I don't know, I feel just adds a little bit of more spunkiness to the dish. <laughs> a little bit of sugar. Break it down. Okay. I'm actually not afraid to keep that chunky. Why not? You're gonna spread it. At least that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but. We stuffed it. And the cranberry sauce. It's done. So the rest, honestly, super simple. <sighs> what I'm gonna do here, nothing crazy, is just, I'm just gonna cut the tip off the bread. Because with this, I'm gonna make like croutons and stuff. We're making sandwiches. I'm just gonna lather some stuff up over here. Babe, come over here. Come watch me lather. Oh my god. Honestly, Zeta's kitchen was dope. They actually had a, a better setup than some kitchens I've worked in. They had a professional flat top, professional four burner, 
They had reach-ins. They had a reach-in freezer. I mean, honestly, they had it all. And then you just turn a little corner and then boom. Full-blown, just regular house. It was weird. It was crazy. I loved working there. It was awesome. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. See this right here? I'm going to make little patties. Anyways, we're gonna start mac and cheese. Come on, babe. So this one's crazy. Super simple. All this is is half milk, half heavy cream, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just add that to my pan. That's it. No secrets. Just that. And I'm gonna add some cheese, baby. Come on over here, babe. What are you waiting for? Come on. Literally, just dropping it. I felt that American is just works the best, and I add a little bit of sharp cheddar in there. I'm gonna save some so I can, you know, top her off. So I'm gonna let that reduce, add some more cheese, and then I'll go ahead and assemble these sandwiches because this takes no time at all. I mean, so basically what I've done is I just reduce that cream, and then you get your nice, like, little creamy mac, you know? So that's done. That's done and ready. Put that on low. Cheese her it up. Some of that herb, you know? You feel me? I, mean, I said before it's the little things that count when you're cooking like this little flat top thing I mean it's making all the difference in our little uh, cooking experience that we're having here look at that we got a little bit of color on that we did it we made the mac with cheese we made turkey let's uh, assemble here so you can see I have four here, but I'm only going to need three because uh, Taz and Who went and took care of some business for us. And then, I mean, we see this beautiful mac and cheese that we have here. Look at that. It's so creamy that it's, it, it's dumb. But look at this. We have it. You know, this was great. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys were here for me on this uh, little ride here. This little stepping stone that I had to to bring you what is now Jay's Kitchen. I tip my hat. I cheers to you. And uh, I'm always going to be a fan of them Zeta Tau Alphas. You guys are awesome. Treat me so well. Love you guys. Tune in next time. Later. like that as much as I did? If you did, head over to our YouTube page. We got everything that you need. We got music, we got food, we got circuitry. Check it out. I'm pretty sure you'll like it.